Hi guys, hope you are doing well. I am Nabil with you, and today I am gonna talk about LM2576 and LM2596 switching mode power supply IC and its calculation. So, first we're gonna take a look uh, into data sheet. Here you can uh, here again we have two data sheet LM2576 data sheet and here LM2596 data sheet. Uh, here actually there is two version one is for fixed output voltage and one is for adjustable version for fixed output voltage version here you can see 3.3 volt output 5 volt 12 volt 15 volt but for some application this uh, gonna uh, this not gonna help us so we might need an adjustable version and if we want to implement adjustable version have to go for a calculation calculation procedure and we will see this calculation procedure first here you can see for lm2576 lm7 for lm2576 adjustable version there is two adjustable version one is normal and one is hv i mean high voltage version and here you can see adjustable version output voltage range from 1.23 volt to 32 37 volt for normal version and 57 volt for HV version and it can ha handle up to 3 ampere output current and for and for in input voltage here you can see 40 volt for normal version and up to 60 volt for HV version and it requires only 4 external component to control out its output voltage and also uh, this is 20 2 kilohertz fixed free frequency output inter internal oscillator I mean they are already a 22 kilohertz internal uh, internally built-in oscillator for control heat output voltage as we know switching mode power supply controls heat output uh, voltage by varying uh, PWM I mean pulse with modulation and also for lm 276 here you can see uh, there is a TTL shutdown capability so you can turn on or off uh, this IC I mean your output voltage by using a tr transistor and and for both ICs uh, LM2576 and 96 there is uh, standby current is very low and we'll, we'll see the difference between two ICs also and uh, for both ICs LM2576 and, and 96 IC, uh, 96 there is thermal shutdown and current limit protection which is very good uh, so uh, this IC will automatic, automatic, automatically shut down when it triggers a uh, uh, certain when it reach in certain uh, temperature and current and so, so what is the basically the difference between these two ICs looks very similar but there, there is a huge difference one Differences for LM2576 actually operate in 52 kilohertz. Here you can see 52 kilohertz, and for LM2576, uh, for LM2576 is basically operates uh, in 150 kilohertz. And another difference is for LM2576, the standby current is basically. Um, basically uh, 50 microampere for LM2576 the standby current is much higher uh, typically 80 microampere so this is basically the difference and now uh, I'm gonna show the calculation procedure uh, so if you use adjustable version and if you uh, set uh, this IC for a certain output voltage you're gonna select four uh, component properly I mean R1 R2 inductor and capacitor for best match so uh, from data sheet here we can see the schematic uh, just a minute so this is the sorry I mm, have to find out where the schematic for adjustable version so here you can see the uh, adjustable version here we have to select R1 and R2 and also its inductor I mean L1 
and then capacitor C in and C output also they recommend uh, to uh, to specify uh, they already specified D1 value I mean this diode value from data sheet so the procedure is basically first you have to select R1 and R2 so the procedure is the wait just a minute okay so just I zoom out here we can see the details uh, design procedure first for a certain V out voltage I mean your for your desired V out voltage you're gonna select you have got to select R1 and R2 from this equation then sorry from <coughs> next part you're gonna select inductor so for inductor selection, select, selection you have got to select calculate first ET value what of how you will find ET value to find ET value you have to go you have to calculate everything from this equation here frequency will be 52 kilowatts and then your you have to put your V in and V output voltage then you will find uh, ET value from ET value and for your desired output suppose we have uh, 3 ampere uh, highest output current and our if our ET value is 115 then you have to go uh, figure 31 which is a graph then you have to select your you have to find a, a value uh, if our ET value is 115 which is just near, uh, near about this line and if our current is 3 ampere then we will find uh, here you can see H this area is H150 uh, basically uh, in X axis there is maximum load current and Y axis is ET if we find our area from graph is H150 then you have to go then you have to go in the in the table 4 I'm clicking table 4 then you have to you have to find out your inductor value and here we can see from data sheet they already recommend some uh, manufacturer uh, if short then here pulse engineer Renko so table 4 is for inductor selection then you have to select your output capacitor and for for output capacitor selection you have to go through this equation and from uh, another table you have to find everything you have to uh, here you can find uh, your uh, desired diode your capacitor oh, this is actually a, a very detailed uh, process and if you want to experiment um, with some different output voltage you have every time you have to calculate and you have to go through uh, this data sheet and you have to find the value but for you guys um, we already made a mobile application for your convenience this is called LM2596 calculator and you will find a link in the description this is the app LM257696 calculation link in the description you have to download this application this application will save lots of your time and if I open uh, this application from my mobile phone okay now you show the app I already downloaded the app here you can see that from this menu you will find our, our other apps this uh, app actually launched by Crux. Crux is a startup company. Mm, we uh, appreciate if you give us a good feedback and ratings. And here you can see if you click introduction icon, you will find 
uh, introduction for switching mode power supply what is the difference between lm 2 sm 696 uh, uh, but difference between two ic's and if you want to see data sheet then you're gonna you got to collect uh, got to, <coughs> sorry you got to select data sheet icon and as i said there is two different calculator in this app for one is for lm2576 and another is for lm2596 calculate uh, calculation here is for if you want to see some uh, circuit here you can see circuit for both ic's and if you want to see the applications then you're gonna select you have to go you have got to select application icon so i am actually my interest is lm uh, 257 calculation you just you got a click and then you gotta put your desire uh, v in v out i out and then ambient temperature if you are not sure about ambient temperature just leave it in default then if i click calculate it will automatically calculate everything you're gonna need to design your power supply r1 r2 actual value everything and this value actually from the data sheet we coded our application we coded our app in such a way that it calculate precisely uh, from your input value and then it looks from uh, graph the graph which is recommended by texas instrument data sheet then automatically it select everything like inductance r1 r2 uh, if you need any heat sink uh, recommended l1 diode and inductor then if you wanna save you can select save mm, just like test app. then click ok it will save so that you can uh, experiment with different values if i select load data then you can see previously saved value here you can see so it will save you a lot of time and uh, exactly uh, actually lm2576 is similar but this calculation procedure is not exactly the same that is why we coded it differently and but basic procedure is same here you can see this automatically calculate you can load data if you want to load data from menu you can click here and load previous data so i think this app will save you a lot of time and we appreciate if you download it and use it for your daily purpose and give us a feedback so that we can improve our app and currently this app is not available in uh, iphone app store but uh, we hope we will launch app for iphone also so hope you guys enjoyed my videos and thank you for using this app so i hope you will you guys will uh, design lots of uh, circuits so that's for today thank you